Madam, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Hey! Green blood! Kurt! And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Green blood. Me who thought myself a competent weapons master. It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go! Fight with honor! It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does. And I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary. I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsignan are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. 
By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I've no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it, and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. It's done. Sorry, green blood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that will be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower Boris, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next this ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. <gasps>
good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantin and I are departing for Tear for D on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You are hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Could you tell me anything about Telene? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure, but other... They believe that a less rigid diet, but their differences are purely theoretical. What is your point of view on the relations between us? As ambassador of Teleme, we appreciate as well the welcome. Thanks to your support. More, the congregation is our most precious, that heresy is tolerated, and that your treat... How is Teleme faring on Tier? We built a marvelous city. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been our missionaries there are a multi. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance, but I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will. How goes the conflict with the Brit and on Tier Fridi? To my not the Brit, which leaves us. I must be going. May the light. Greetings, Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. 
But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is taking office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. I need to be going. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with?
The warehouse is off limits. Move along. Can't you make an exception? No, sorry, m'lady. Move along, please. Now! Very well. I'm going. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Uh, some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. All is in order. You will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I feel something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so. But it's difficult to be sure. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Lalo. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. You haven't heard anything about my cousin by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Be back soon, Captain. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who has gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Why? I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time? 
when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guess, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. I need to be going. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? Good day, Tavern Keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantin. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered. And no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age? Hair down to his neck, light brown? Blue eyes? Quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'd be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Here you are, to cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books, mates, for honest friendships. 
Your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender sorts. Thank you for the information. Get off with ya. Get him out of anything else. With all these sailors coming and going. Right. Even store they say that man trees. Treasure abounds under every rock. <laughs> Last night, some noughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts. Ah, oh, but you know the kind. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> people stopped going out of their homes. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the people were still distrustful. As I also lost quite a few regular customers. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia, the captain. No. Not telling him that. I still have some pro. Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? You think my story is nothing but myth? <laughs> It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd. I seem to recall that regular being there. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night. Now and again he comes out. When... 
Thank you, Lara. I need... Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. Tavern keeper. I see you're back. I am looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who has been. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few. That... According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping. In my establishment. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at this table. Anything else? I need to be off. Goodbye. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No, have no fear about that. It's I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago, after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in. With a band of strong... The kind of men you can round up for a few coins. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a break. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was not... I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. What can you tell me about the boy? He seemed rather nervous. As if he was worried about them. And he must have been right to be nervous. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? No, my lady. You're in luck. It was Sir Fontaine. That merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs. Just off the canal. Thank you. You've been immense. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Citizens of Serene! Citizens, I present to you... Panacea! The absolute cure of everything! Toothache? Stomach ailment? And even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little phial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate i am so close to finding the cure but the malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer not true then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life rejoice
A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we have... Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing. Will you drink one of your potions? Of course. But, as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to... But, if it helps you make up your mind... There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. <laughs> Come on now. I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of yours. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it? You might have put something in it to cool. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me? Come now. You can see for yourself that I am gladly returning your vial. This might help to dissipate my doubts. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right... Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings.
Might I help you, my lady? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lady de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here, but perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We are looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I am very surprised. And that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe... <laughs> These witnesses are all in agreement. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. How did you find your son's trail? We have never stopped looking for him. We learned the new name they gave him. Jonas. My poor... Then we learned the name of the ship he sailed on. No sooner had it docked in Serene than my husband had the... Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact... It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot... Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Noughts, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a Nought. Our ships are his home. We are his only family. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a nought? 
Sir de Corsillon is a veritable well of scientific knowledge. He could tell us a little more. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim. <laughs> don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. She told me a strange story about her son who... She said that he was taken when he was a child, due to some con... Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news, Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back since time immemorial. There has always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Norse. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such a call, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son in an agreement signed between my uncle and the Norts? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand... That's right. He told me that their attendance seemed to be... And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end, would it? I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only... Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now? I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sade, niece of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, 
I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I beg your pardon, my lady, but you are not my master. Moreover, the attendant of the guard was quite specific, saying this affair should be handled with extreme discretion. So I seriously doubt that you'll be wanting to drag us in front of a judge. That would stir up the muck. What have is he talking about, Kurt? Your guess is as good as mine. This is preposterous. Either you give us back what's out. Your idea of diplomacy isn't all that different from my own. To the devil with ya. Since you leave us no ch The merchant's clerk isn't hearing your arguments. The only thing left is a show of strength. Sorry, Greenblood. If I'd have known, I wouldn't have gotten you mixed up in this. This document mentions another property, a warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite... If you would be so courteous, I would... With respect, my lady. Careful. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Let's just try to remain discreet.
Lady de Sade. What are you doing here? I have come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried... Uh, those Noughts took him from... Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? You've taken your son against his will and have locked him up like merchandise in a way... Is that what you call being a good father? As if you would know what it is like to be a parent. You are far too young to under... I looked into the contract that binds you to the Noughts. It was indeed you who ceded your son to them in exchange for help with your business with the bridge. It is... Uh, it is so. You should have thought of that before. Breaking the con... The prince will know how to negotiate with the Noughts. Uh, if they take... Her sadness would be all the more terrible if she learned of your role in the story. Don't you think? You wouldn't dare. You were not leaving me with a choice. Very well. Take the key and take him away. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. You. My name is Desade. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... Yes. Even if I had to bend... That doesn't surprise me. You seem to have... I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see... You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the Noughts. I am sorry for... Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then... It's not possible just now.
Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know. Have no fear. I will bring him back into my cabin. You do. It's a rather sad. All we can do is plot a course. No one tell. I do. Thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much directions bringing one. Be back soon, Captain. <laughs>